take a look at this Danish island. It's Funen, the same island where the famous Danish author Hans Christian Andersen grew up. You know, the guy with the ugly duckling. And like in real fairy tales, real people have created magnificent things, against all odds. It all began in this village called Funs. Yes, a horrible name to pronounce. Funs is a small green oasis with a little more than 50 houses encircled by the sea. That's how every real estate agent would sell it. But in sharp contrast to the beautiful nature, many of the houses contain old contaminated oil boilers. But instead of me chatting away, Let's hear from some of the people in Funz. In the village of Funz, there were around 40 houses that had the old oil boilers. And, and they were so old that they needed to replace them within a short time frame. So at a, at, a, at a citizen meeting where we talked about other energy saving projects, there was this atmosphere that maybe we should do something in common. And then it was just a question of getting the rest of the town in on this rather difficult transition. I think the, the whole thought around it has changed from not just being a practical thing about getting heat, but also a matter of being a part of the, of the green change. Yeah. All right, Funz received tremendous support from people to get a so-called central heating system, which runs on wood chips. But with only nearly 50 houses, no energy companies wanted to back the idea. Together, we made a plan on how to accomplish this. We created like a workforce with just people from the village that wanted to participate in this. And then uh, after one, one and a half years of planning and investigating, we were able to like make a project and go to the municipality and say, okay, we want to do this. Can you help us with the funding? The idea of a common green heating system, which almost began as a scribble on a napkin, was heard by the municipality. They are up to something in France. I've been there, talked to them, and they are full of ideas, especially when it comes to climate and environment. So we're going uh, on a mission? To what's yeah, going to happen? Yeah, we're going to help them. Now, you probably think that the municipality fixed everything, but that's really the case. The nearly 50 households had to raise more than $1 million to establish the heating system. Once again, the fairy tale ended unhappily. What are we looking at here? Fuss central heating system, which today is providing the whole village with green energy. The municipality provided a guarantee for the one million dollars. If we will succeed as a society, we have to help people succeed themselves, also in a local community like Funs. And they had a sustainable project, both when it comes to economics and when it comes to climate. So, so we have to support them to succeed so we can succeed as a whole. However, the people in Funs had to be responsible for the administration and operation themselves. We are a group of eight volunteers that takes care of, the, of everything that needs to be done. On a weekly basis, that means you have your on duty for one week. So you take out the ashes, you make sure there are pellets on the, on the heat boilers. The district heating system needs to be local based. We will support them in any way we are able to do. Today, people from all over the world go on a pilgrimage to Fus. They want to see what this community have created together. They want to hear the story about the heavy bumblebee, which turned out to be faster than the others after all. Let's end where it all began, with Hans Christian Andersen. Like in his fairy tales, the ugly duckling became a beautiful swan. But the big difference is that this is a real fairy tale.